Today's first race, steeplechase at two miles and a sixteenth over eight fences. The flag is up, and they are off. And Whitman's Poetry is going out for the early lead. And right alongside is a critical data, and they have all cleared that first fence successfully. So it is a critical data who has the lead, and Whitman's Poetry is racing in second. Then on the outside, it's Emerald Rocket next and third, anticipating is fourth, followed by 65 in fifth. Then Gay Breeze, Global Freedom, and Fast Car is the trailer in eighth. And the field is moving into the clubhouse turn for the first time. Anticipating has come on through now to uh, grab the lead. Anticipating's in front. Emerald Rocket and Whitman's Poetry. Those two are heads apart second and third as they reach the back stretch. Critical Data is now in fourth. Then the entry mate, 65 and Global Freedom. As the field moves for that third fence. And Anticipating is the leader. With Emerald Rocket next in second. And Whitman's Poetry racing along in third. Critical Data is down on the inside in fourth. And then we have 65 in the orange cap in fifth. Global Freedom in the blue cap runs in sixth. On the outside is a Gay Breeze. And a fast car remains at the back. The field is now heading for the far turn for the first time. And it is anticipating the leader here. Emerald Rocket on the outside of Whitman's Poetry. Those two are right together with critical data next in fourth. And then we come back to 65, followed by Global Freedom. Then Gay Breeze, and the fast car has been at the back of the pack right since the start. The field is now approaching the fifth of eight fences. And anticipating is showing the way here, but challenged now on the outside by Whitman's Poetry. All eight have uh, cleared that fence successfully, anticipating the leader by a length. Whitman's Poetry runs in second. Then it's Emerald Rocket next in third. 65 has made some progress up to fourth now. Then it's Gay Breeze, Global Freedom, followed by Fast Car, and uh, Critical Data. Now just two fences remaining as they uh, go around the clubhouse turn for the final time. And it is Anticipating and Whitman's Poetry. And they are 1-2. And just in behind the front two is 65, who has moved up now into third. Then it's Emerald Rocket next in fourth, followed by Global Freedom. The field moving for the seventh fence, anticipating, continues the lead here. It's anticipating over Whitman's poetry. Uh, Whitman's poetry did not take that fence particularly well. So anticipating is the leader here and has gotten away here to lead by three lengths. They're going over that final fence, and uh, they have all cleared successfully. Anticipating is the leader, and Fast Car has made his move now up on the outside into second. Emerald Rocket is next in third. Gay Breeze on the move on the outside in fourth, and the Global Freedom is fifth. And now they come for the top of the stretch. It is Anticipating and Fast Car on the outside. Fast car and anticipating, and fast car is the leader now as they come into the stretch. Anticipating is in second, and Gay Breeze is in third. The field with an eighth of a mile to the finish, and fast car has opened up now. Fast car is in front by four lengths. Fast car and Mike Mitchell on to victory here and did it convincingly at the end, one by a half dozen lengths. Global Freedom did run second, anticipating finish third, and Gay Breeze was fourth.
Number five, Fast Car was first. 1A Global Freedom second. Number two, Anticipating finished third. And number six, Gay Breeze was fourth. Unofficial, five, one A, two and six. The time was three minutes, 49 and two-fifth seconds. They're all in. And they're off. Hesitating start for number one, Big Al's gal, and uh, she's towards the uh, back of the pack, but now moving up down at the rail. Whippy Cream is going for the lead with Whistling in the Dark. The two of them right together, and the favorite, Baeza, sits just off them in third. After that slow beginning, Big Al's gal has now advanced into fourth. Queen Tigor runs in fifth. On the outside is uh, Miss Ross in sixth. Then Irina and Ella in seventh, followed by Cross Keys in eighth. And it's five lengths back to Sanders Empire, who trails the field in ninth. The quarter, 23 and one-fifth seconds, whistling in the dark on the inside and whippy cream on the outside. And the two of them are heads apart and just in behind by Aza. And down at the rail, it is Big Al's Gal. The field is moving for the top of the stretch, whistling in the dark. Has the lead, the half in 46 and 4. Whippy Cream, Baeza now moving up on the outside. Down at the rail is Big Al's Gal as the field comes for the eighth pole. It is whistling in the dark, trying to pull off the upset here. Big Al's Gal in second. Then Baeza, they're coming down for the wire, and whistling in the dark is going to do it, and she is 23 to 1. Big Al's Gal was second. Then Baeza, Queen Tigua, and Whippy Cream. Number two, Whistling in the Dark was first. Number one, Big Al's Gal second. Number four, Baeza finished third. And number five, Queen Tigua was fourth. Results not official. Two, one, four, five. Time of the race, one minute, 12 seconds. Off. Sky Kitten from the rail. And now moving up is Five Alarm Robin. Super cute, not far behind. From the outside, Tradable is gaining ground. And Make or Break is up with the uh, pace setters as the field goes into the uh, clubhouse turn. It is Five Alarm Robin who has the lead. Make or Break now moves into second. Sky Kitten and Tradable heads apart third and fourth. Gia runs in fifth. Super cute is in sixth. Followed by Quasar in seventh. And it's Stormy Derby Day in eighth and a break of four. Back to Positive Skew, who is at the back of the pack in ninth. The opening quarter mile in 24 seconds as the field moves up the back stretch. Five Alarm Robin is the leader here, three quarters of a length. Pressured on the outside by Make or Break. And then it is two and a half lengths. Back to a Tradable and Sky Kitten down on the inside. A break of two to a Gia, who's racing in fifth, followed by a Super Cute in sixth. Then the Quasar, Stormy Derby Day, and Positive Skew remains at the back. The half mile in 48 seconds. Five alarm Robin by a neck. 
Make or break is right there on the outside in second. It's almost three lengths. Back to a tradable in third. Followed by Sky Kitten and Gia. Quasar on the move on the outside into sixth. Down at the rail is Super Cute in seventh. Then Stormy Derby Day and Positive Skew. Three quarters went in one twelve and one as the field comes down for the furlong marker. It is Five Alarm Robin who has built a four length lead. Then Tradable in second, followed by Make or Break and Gia. Five Alarm Robin is going to do it here in front running fashion. Tradable was second. Then Make or Break and Sky Kitten. Please disregard the uh, final time on the boards and on the TVs. The actual final time is 1 minute 42.78 seconds. 142.78. Unofficially, number four, five alarm Robin was first. Number 11, tradable second. Number eight, make or break was third. And number one, Sky Kitten fourth. Results not official. Four, 11, eight, and one. And again, the time, 142 and three fifth seconds. There in the gate. And they're off. Lucky Asset is going out for the lead. Joined on the inside by first line. And at the rail, it is hometown. So hometown has the lead going into the clubhouse turn. First line is running in second. Then it's the gray. Ajar next in third. Lucky Asset is now back running in fourth. As the field heads for the back stretch. It's hometown with the lead. Pressured here by first line. And it's a break of four and a half lengths. Back to Ajar, who is next in third. Ashiham is in between horses and running in fourth. Down on the inside is Lucky Asset, who is next in fifth. Then Vicarage and Zuzu Dini. The opening quarter mile, not posted there. So we'll go with Hometown on the lead here. Hometown in front by a head. First line on the outside is in second. Ajar, part of the favorite entry, is next in third. And that entry mate now is right alongside Ashiham. Uh, then we come back to Lucky Asset Zuzudini and Vicarage. They're heading for the far turn. It's still hometown in first line. They remain 1-2 with Ajar just in behind in third. Midway on the turn now. Hometown on the inside and first line on the outside. And now the front two have three lengths on Ajar in third. Zuzudini has advanced into fourth. Ashiham is down at the rail in fifth. Then Lucky Asset... And Vicarage, they are at the top of the stretch, hometown in first line, and they've been at it right from the start. First line on the outside pokes ahead in front. Hometown continues to battle down at the rail, and now they're at the eighth pole. It is first line and hometown. They're going to battle for a mile and a furlong here. First line ahead in front. Hometown not giving up. They come for the finish, and first line is first under the wire. Hometown finish second. Then Ashiham and Lucky Asset.
Number three, first line was first. Number two, hometown second. 1A, Ashiham finished third. And number four, Lucky Asset was fourth. Results not official. 3-2, 1A and four. The time was one minute, 49 and four-fifth seconds. Number three is first line. Three-year-old Chestnut Gelding by First Samurai. Out of street line by Street Cry. First line, owned by Noda Brothers, trained by Orlando Noda, and the rider, Jose Ortiz. There in the gate. And they're off. Number two, we gets the money. He's just walked out of the starting gate and trails the field. Vortex Road from the outside post is out for the lead. Classic Lady runs in second, then it's Nico's Dream on the outside in third. Wish Upon is next in fourth, followed by War Canoe. And after that slow beginning, we gets the monies, is the trailer in sixth as the field goes into the clubhouse turn. And it is Vortex Road in front by two. Classic Lady down on the inside in second, and Nico's Dream is next in third. Wish Upon runs in fourth. And then we come back to... War Canoe, and we gets the monies. The opening quarter, 25 and four-fifth seconds. So it's a slow pace here set by Vortex Road, who's in front by two and a half lengths. Classic Lady runs in second. And then it's Nico's Dream next in third. A length and a half to Wish Upon, who's running in fourth, followed by War Canoe, and we gets the monies. Positions are unchanged after a half in 51 and two-fifth seconds. Vortex Road and Kendrick Carmouche on top by almost three. Classic Lady, the favorite, has been chasing in second the entire way. And then we come back to Nico's Dream, and now War Canoe, she makes her move on the outside. War Canoe is moving up to third as Vortex Road takes the field into the stretch. Classic Lady in the white cap is second, and on the outside it is War Canoe as they come down for the eighth pole. Vortex Road Classic Lady in between, and on the outside it is War Canoe. We gets the monies, is putting in a late run. It's Classic Lady and War Canoe. It's these two to the wire, and it is Classic Lady, the winner by a long neck. War Canoe was second, and it's a photo for third. There in the gate. And they're off. Number eight, Sakari jumped up at the start and trails the field. 
From the inside, it is Topper T who goes out for the lead. Pete's play call is racing in second. Clenches on the outside in third. A break of two to Lone Rock, who's down on the inside in fourth. Right alongside is the big fundamental next in fifth, followed by American Power in sixth. Uh, then it is a gap of six lengths back to a Creative Style and the Sakari. The quarter, 21 and three fifth seconds, long shot. Topper T takes the field around the far turn in front by two and a half lengths. Pete's play call is getting closer now in second. Then it's a break of three back to a clinch in third, followed by the big fundamental down on the inside is Lone Rock. The half in 44 and two, and Pete's play call has taken over the lead now from Topper T. Pete's play call with the lead in the stretch. Clench up on the outside, moving into second. They're at the furlong marker. It is Pete's play call with a three-length lead. Lone Rock has now moved into second, and Lone Rock is two and a half lengths behind Pete's play call. Pete's play call in front. On the outside is Lone Rock. Pete's play call the winner, three-quarters of a length. Lone Rock was second. Then Creative Style, who came from way out of it, they get third, followed by Clench and American Power. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold all tickets. There is a steward's inquiry into the start involving number eight, the Sakari. Please hold all tickets. Steward's inquiry into the start. Unofficially, number three, Pete's Play Call was first. Number two, Lone Rock second. Number seven, Creative Style was third. And number four, Clench finished fourth. Unofficially, three, two, seven, and four. The time was one minute, 15 and two fifth seconds. They're all in. And they're off. And there goes Ready for Prime Time out for the early lead. Back to his roots down on the inside, runs in second. And then we have a mixed star who is next in third. On the outside and uh, moving up is a kitten's cat from fourth. Sayoff, the favorite down on the inside, runs in fifth. Alongside is a Mad Money's next in sixth, followed by VC in seventh. Secretary at War down on the inside in eighth, and Ghoul is the trailer in ninth. As they go around the turn, it's ready for prime time, leading here by a length and a half. Then it's the trio, Kitten's Cat, Mick Star, and back to his roots down on the inside. Sayoff is looking for a way through there. No room yet. Ready for prime time is the leader. It's ready for prime time in front by two. Back to his roots. Gains ground down towards the rail. Then it is Secretary at War. Ghoul on the outside. Ready for prime time. Took the lead right from the start and has won here at a price. Under a rod, Ortiz Jr. Back to his roots was second. And Ghoul finished third.
Danny California moves in. We're set for the start. And they're off. Bit of a bobble there at the start for number six, Blackjack Davey. Nonetheless, he is going up the challenge for the early lead. BB Banker from an inside post. Blackjack Davey on the outside. And the two of them are heads apart, racing into the clubhouse turn. Just in behind is a 6%, who's running in third. On the outside is Danny California, then dances for token in fifth. At the back are Forever Wicked and Microscope. Up front, BB Banker by a length. With Blackjack Davey giving chase in second through a quarter in 24 and 4. Danny California is now moving up on the outside from third. 6% down at the rail runs in fourth. Then it's Dancers for Token. And at the back, Forever Wicked and Microscope. As the field continues along here, it is B.B. Banker in front three quarters of a length. Blackjack Davey. And on the outside, Danny California. Danny California now takes second after a half and 49 and two. Six percent rallies down at the rail. Blackjack Davey has dropped back to fourth. Then it's forever a wicked. Dances for token. And the trailer is a microscope. The field is going around the far turn. B.B. Banker on the inside and Danny California on the outside. Now Blackjack Davey gets going again and is up into third and is going up to challenge Danny California. Danny California, Blackjack Davey. Now it's between those two. B.B. Banker is back running in third. Dances for token in fourth and 6%. Three quarters went in one, 13 and two. The field comes into the stretch. It's Danny California on the inside and Blackjack Davey on the outside. Danny California is prevailing here and now gets clear to lead by three. Black Jack Davey is in second. It is Danny California, and he's opening up here in deep stretch. Danny California, much the best here at Saratoga. Black Jack Davey did hold second, then 6%, and BB Banker. Number eight, Danny California was first. Number six, Blackjack Davey second. Number one, six percent finished third. And number two, BB Banker was fourth. Results unofficial, eight, six, one, and two. The time was one minute, 50 and two-fifth seconds. Number eight is Danny California, a five-year-old chestnut gelding by a fleet Alex, out of Cinco de Mayo Mio by El Corredor. Second win today for owners Noda Brothers, second win today for trainer Orlando Noda, and the second win for jockey Joel Rosario. They're in the gate. And they're off. 
Major Look breaking the rules and the gray, Gidu, and it is Gidu who has the lead. Major Look is running in second, breaking the rules is next in third. On the inside is Therapist in fourth, Devamani is fifth at this point, and Wizahicken trails the field in sixth. They're spread out as they go into the clubhouse turn, and it is Gidu opening up on the field here. Gidu by four lengths. Major Look is in second. It's another six. Back to breaking the rules, then Therapist, Devamani, and Wizahicken. The opening quarter mile, 23 and four-fifth seconds. Gidu leads the field here and has opened up now by seven lengths. Major Look is second by another seven or eight. Then it's breaking the rules in third. Another six to Therapist and Devamani. Wizahicken is the trailer. The half was run in 47 and four-fifth seconds. Gidu is isolated on the lead here in front by eight lengths as they begin the run around the far turn. It's Gidu in front. Major Look is next in second. And breaking the rules is third, followed by Therapist in fourth. They are all chasing Gidu, who has built this big lead here. Gidu in front as they come off the turn and enter the stretch. Gidu, the lead is down to four lengths now. Major Look breaking the rules on the outside, then Therapist in fourth. Here comes Major Look. Here comes breaking the rules. Therapist still in with a chance. Devamani is kicking in late. Breaking the rules has come away with the lead. Here's Therapist on the outside of Major Look with Devamani. Breaking the rules has won it. Therapist got second. Then Devamani and Major Look. Major Look. Number seven, breaking the rules, was first. Number two, Therapist, second. Number eight, Devamani finished third. And number five, Major Look, was fourth. Results unofficial. Seven, two, eight, and five. Time of the race, one minute, 41 and one-fifth seconds. Number seven is Breaking the Rules, a five-year-old Dark Bay or Brown horse by Warfront, out of protesting by AP Indy. Breaking the Rules, owned by Phipps Stable, trained by Shug McGahey. The jockey is Johnny Velasquez.
in the rough. Sequin is going out for the lead. Now Zacapa moves up. In between horses is Madame McLean as they race up the back stretch. It is Sequin, Madame McLean. On the outside is Mumbai, who's a close up third. Then Zacapa down to the inside, running in fourth. 1787's in between horses, next in fifth. As they go around the turn on the extreme outside, there is zero to 60. A break of two, back to Spectacular Sunrise, followed by Let Them Eat Cake, and Venus Oizo is the trailer in ninth. Quarter went in 21 and four. It is Madame McLean and Sequin, and the two of them are heads apart with Mumbai on the outside in third. Zero to 60 now kicks in late here. Let Them Eat Cake is coming on. Here's zero to 60, the first time starter who's going to win here. Going five and a half at the spa. Zero to 60 takes it. Let Them Eat Cake came on for second, then Sequin. And a late close from big long shot Venus Oizo to complete the Superfecta. Number nine, zero to 60 was first. Number two, let them eat cake second. Number four, sequin was third. And number three, Venus Oizo finished fourth. Results unofficial. Nine, two, four, and three. The time, one minute, two, and three-fifth seconds. Number nine is zero to 60, three-year-old chestnut filly by American Pharaoh out of Cat Moves by Tail of the Cat. Zero to 60 owned by Columbine Stable, trained by Al Stahl Jr. and the rider Jose Liscano. It's official.
The 10th race exacta pays $41.25. The double, $31.25. Trifecta, $77.50.